Before Sonic came around, this dude ruled the Sega Kingdom. Alex Kidd. Known more for his monkey ears and Mr. Rogers sweater than his good games, he appeared mostly on the Sega Master System before making the jump to 16 bits. And totally embarrassing himself before the hedgehog came to save Sega's ass. So we're talking about Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle. And it's not like the game was that bad. I think they just ran out of ideas. I mean, it was the fifth Alex Kidd game in like three years. Now, now, now the game just sucked. Now, if you know anything about Alex Kidd, you know that rock, paper, scissors plays a huge part in the game. Someone is always challenging you. Sometimes it's the same guy, no matter what door you go in. Obviously, rock, paper, scissors is one of the biggest games of luck out there, especially when it's in a video game. Well, I bet my life. Hmm. Seems a little steep for a game of rock, paper, scissors, but, uh, okay. Not your lucky day, is it? No, it's never a lucky day when an anvil drops on your skull. Other than the rock, paper, scissors stuff, Enchanted Castle is pretty much a standard platformer with the occasional pogo stick thrown in, and is by far one of the worst Alex Kidd games in the series. So where has Alex Kidd gone since his unmercifully thrust off the throne by Sonic? Well, according to Altered Beast, and I'm not making this up, he's dead. Dead. Oh.